Hello and welcome to the course on bare metal embedded programming with Atmega 328 microcontroller. I am Arabinda Varma, your instructor for the course. In this section, I shall introduce the embedded system. We shall understand the characteristics of embedded system and discuss how it is different than a general purpose computer. Embedded system is a computer system which is designed and developed for specific purpose and is a part of bigger electromechanical system. There are three key points in this definition. Computer system means it is a combination of hardware and software. The purpose or the functionalities of such computer system is limited and highly specific. And mostly it is a part of bigger system which has electrical and mechanical components. For instance, microwave oven, printer, digital camera, lift or elevator, etc. are examples of embedded system. Nowadays, automobiles are available with intelligent features such as anti-lock braking system, adaptive cruise control, emission control, traction control, embedded rain sensing system, etc. In fact, automobile has a network of embedded systems. In all these examples, the computer is a part of a bigger system. It interacts with the external world by receiving input from human being or sensors, processes the data and produces output data which is consumed by another computer system or actuators. Let's understand the different components of an embedded system with an example of vending machine. You must have used a vending machine. It is an automated system that provides items such as snacks, beverages, chocolates, lottery tickets, newspaper, etc. to the consumer. A typical vending machine may have the architecture as shown in the diagram. The payment module manages the payment through coins and bills and credit card. The credit card module has an electromechanical system to accept card, read its detail, and contact financial institution to get required approval for the payment. The coin and bill module also has an electromechanical system to accept the coins and bills, detect the denomination, and calculate the payment made. Through keypad, LCD, or touchscreen, the machine receives input from the user to gather the details of product to be dispensed. Once the payment is validated and the required input is gathered, the machine uses the mechanical system to dispense the selected product. On completion of the transaction, either the credit card is returned or change may be dispensed. The modem module is used to connect the vending machine to the internet. The owner may keep track of the inventory in the machine, check the daily sales and collection, and even monitor the machine for security purposes remotely if it is web enabled. In general, an embedded system can be modeled as shown in the diagram. A microcontroller is the brain of the system. Depending upon the complexity of the tasks handled, varying degree of sophisticated microcontroller is employed in an embedded system. For example, a digital camera uses a 32-bit microcontroller whereas the front panel of a washing machine uses microprocessor of a smaller word size. Microcontroller runs the software that brings the embedded system to life and controls all other components. The embedded hardware consists of input devices, output devices, microprocessor, communication interface, volatile and non-volatile memory, and some of the high-end hardware also provides application-specific circuitry. The hardware components like memory, microprocessor, communication interface, etc. is packaged in the integrated circuit. The embedded software can be divided into two parts. One, the system software 
which comprises of drivers, for example, serial driver, display driver, etc. In case of a complex system, dedicated operating system is used instead of simple system software. 2. The application software that implements the functionality of the embedded system. Based on the timed operation, the embedded system can be categorized into hard real-time and soft real-time embedded systems. The embedded systems which must operate within the confines of a stringent deadline are classified as hard real-time embedded system. The system is considered to be failed if it does not complete its function within the allotted time span. These systems are used in critical situation and the response is time sensitive. Patient monitoring system, weapon command and control system, anti-lock brakes and aircraft control system are some examples of hard real-time embedded system. The soft real-time embedded systems are the ones whose response can be delayed but presents degraded performance experience to the user. The delayed response of such system does not pose a catastrophic threat to the user and their property. For instance, delay in the function of washing machine or a microwave oven is not critical. Hence, such systems are categorized as soft real-time embedded system. With this, we come to the end of this lesson. I hope the lesson was useful. In the next lesson, we shall discuss about the microcontrollers. Till then, happy learning and thank you.